she was adopted by an orphanage from an orphanage by a white couple when she was two years old. <clears throat> I can't believe I was trafficked to this horrible country. I can't believe I was trafficked to this horrible country. I am not an American. I am not an American. I can't believe I was trafficked. To this All country. right, cool, man. When you leaving, man? You need a ride to the airport? <laughs> I'm doing the show right now, but if I if I was free, I'd give you a ride to the airport, man. That was a bad, that was. <laughs> that was a bad Asian, man. You know, good Asian right here, man. <laughs> bad tiger, man. You go know, good tiger, y'all. Good tiger, man. Hit that like button, man. We should have 100 and, let me see how many likes we got. Man. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Oh man, come on, guys! Hit the like button. Hit this. It's a Friday, man. We should have. Listen, man, and I mean this when I say this. On a Friday, this channel that no one else can duplicate should have a hundred people taking the five dollar challenge. Five dollars. This channel should have a hundred people taking the five dollar challenge on a Friday on a payday. On a payday, this channel should have a hundred people taking the five dollar challenge, but it don't. It don't. We can't even get you to hit the like button. Asian girl in San Francisco says black people can be dangerous and violent, and her impression of blacks changed after she and her friends were accosted by black juveniles and robbed. Let's see what she's got to say, man. School in in the neighborhood, which is the Burden High School. And man, why y'all always sound like that, man? Why <laughs> always sound like that, man? No matter what. <laughs> they always sound like that. You ain't never gonna meet one of them and be like at approximately 355. Me and my acquaintances were walking down 125th Street. I looked to my left and I saw a gentleman crossing the street and they had on a blue mask. Like, why y'all can't have one person that sound like that? <laughs> y'all always sound like this, man. God damn, man. If y'all so smart, y'all should have at least one person that sound normal, man. The school in in the neighborhood, which is the Burden High School, and I've never been I've never been afraid of African Americans in schools and in neighborhoods. <laughs> Who believes that, man? Who believes that? Who believes that? Salute to um, God Ninja. It says Rainbow Tiger here. Oh, God Ninja, you're a um, you're a motley, you're 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 a um, a moo a moo a moo tiger, <laughs> a moo tiger. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know you had tiger jeans. Oh yeah, God Ninja. I should have known that. God Ninja. Damn, slow. Salute to crazy Cajun weather, man. He says, it's Friday. Likes are free. But I, that earlier video about the jobs, you know damn well no such. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But y'all lucky, man. Y'all lucky we don't produce like them, man. Just be happy about that, man. How about that? Because if we did, whoo. Hey, 
Asian girl in San Francisco says black people can be dangerous and violent. <laughs> and her impression of blacks changed after her friends were accosted by black Jews. <laughs> so yeah, man, who believes this girl made it? She looks like, this girl looked like she may be, let me see. This girl looked like she may be 21, 22 years old. Who thinks this girl made it to that age without <laughs> without fearing blacks as a as a tiger? Press one if you believe that, man. The school in in the neighborhood, which is the Burden High School, and I've never been I've never been afraid of African Americans in schools and in neighborhoods because they usually they act friendly to you if they know you like. Okay, I, she went to private school. Okay, she went to private school. She went to private school. She didn't go to public school. Okay, that's cool. So she went to private school, all right. That explains it. Afraid of African Americans in schools and in neighborhoods because they Usually they act friendly to you if they know you. Like, they are my friends, they are my schoolmates. I was never afraid of them, they are my friends. But things changed after my first attack in the on San Bruno Avenue. It's in Portola District, but it's like right next to each other. So we usually consider it as like the same district or area. I was walking with my friend on our way home from the library and then we were surrounded by a couple of course she was at the library. That's like fun for them. That's like the basketball court for <laughs> They get as much pleasure out of out of um out of going to the library as some men get out of playing basketball, man. That's crazy, man. Walking with my friend on our way home from the library, and then we were surrounded by a couple African American teenagers, which probably goes to the same school as we do, but they probably don't know us. Oh, she do go to public school, so she lied. <laughs> All this is lies, man. If she go to public school, listen. If she goes to a public school, everything she said up here today was a lie. Why you lying? Because you it don't make you no more sympathetic, man. You're a victim. They shouldn't have done that to you. But you don't have to lie and be like, oh, this changed. Everything changed today. I, I thought some people were completely normal and just like everyone else until today. When one cocked upside the head. School in in the neighborhood, which is the Burden High School. And I've never been, I've never been afraid of African Americans in schools and in neighborhoods because they usually, they act friendly to you if they know you. Like, they are my friends, they are my schoolmates. I was never afraid of them, they are my friends. But things changed after my first attack in the, on San Bruno Avenue. It's in Portola District, but it's like right next to each other. So. We usually consider it as like the same district or area. I was walking with my friend on our way home from the library, and then we were surrounded by a couple African American teenagers, which probably goes to the same school as we do. But they probably don't know us, so they surrounded us, and then we were trying to sneak out, and then we were able to just walk away. But when we arrived home, we realized that our one of my friend's wallet was stolen. So things change after then. Our my entire my entire image of African Americans change. They could be violent. They could be stealing things around. It's just that that thing changed my mind totally. I I still can be friends with them, but there's just something bad in my heart that feels like they could be dangerous sometimes. So these things happen to Chinese Americans like every day basically like even though people don't speak out about this but almost every one of us might be yo homie right here man. 
Listen, man, you probably a great person, man. And you probably got a hell of a personality. I'm bad. Listen, man, I ain't even gonna do. I ain't gonna do that, but um, man, it's the Asian hour, man. This is the Asian hour, yo. We doing the Asian hour, man. What's going on, man? Where I'm from. Guess where I'm from. Guess where I'm from. Not around here. Guess where I'm from. Guess where I'm from. Guess where I'm from. Not around here. Guess where I'm from. <laughs> Guess where I'm from. Guess where I'm from. Not around here. Guess where I'm from. <laughs> I think um I think that's pretty evident, man. I think everybody figured that out, man. Um Salute to um, Graham, man. He says, "Thank, just thank you for your informative and rational content." Yeah, man. Salute to Graham, man. It's the only, yeah, man. You ain't gonna get no informative, rational content from nobody else, man. Shout out to Gene B, man. Gene B is a Hawk Nation Hall of Famer, man. Yeah, man. You ain't gonna get no informative content from nobody else, man. Rational man, <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got going on here, man. <laughs> 